hi everyone welcome back to another quick tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to validate an input for a phone number i will also show you how to validate the phone number based on a country specific format so for that we will be using a react library and we will be validating that in a react application so before wasting more time let's jump into the project so i will create empty folder and let's give it a name phone validation now let me open this let's open git bash so we have opened the git bash now let's create a react application and the project name will be phone number validation so it will install react application it just takes some time so i will pause the video when it is done i will be right back so the project has been created now let's change the directory and let me open this project in vs code let me close the welcome page inside source file we have the app.js file we have the index.js and index.js is connected with the public directory index.html file inside source directory i'm going to create another file and that will be phone number validation so we have created another component now let's create the boilerplate for react all right let's add some title here testing and now let's uh, connect this component with the app.js so let me remove everything from here let's remove the class name as well and let's remove these so now we have to import the react so I'm gonna import that react from react all right save it the next thing we have to import the component so I'm gonna import that component which we create here now let me use that component here all right so we are using that component so let's just run this project how it's look npm start and it will run a local server all right so our project is running now let's copy the url and paste here so we have a testing that's mean our uh, component is connected perfectly so let's get back all right let me remove this and now here we will be building our input for the phone number let's add the input and the type will be text let's pass the value and that will be phone number we will be creating that constant in a while and we need a function on change event it will call handle change function so you can see we got the error here but we will fix that in a while so let's fix that let's create a constant let's set that set phone number and assign that to the use state and that will be empty now let's create for the valid and let's set that and this state will be true all right so we are done for the constant now let's create the handle change function so i'm going to create a constant handle change and let's make this arrow function and we are passing the event so whenever the event occurs event dot target value it will assign that value to the input constant and then we are setting that to the state all right now let's create for the validation set valid inside that i'm gonna pass another function validate phone number 
and let pass the input so let's create the validate phone number and create that arrow function pass the phone number and let's create a constant phone number pattern and here we will be assigning regular expression so let me make that so the value digits cannot be less or greater than 10 all right now let's return that Uh, let me copy the phone number and paste here all right so valid is assigned a value but never used so we have to use the valid if valid is not true and please enter valid 10 digits number all right let's check this out so we have the input and if I type something we got the error so when it reached to 10 it will hide the error and if the value is greater than 10 it will display the error so we are done for the phone number validation now if we want to add the phone number validation based on country for that we have to install the library so I'm gonna open the git bash and if you go to package.json you can see we don't have that library so let's install that alright uh, so it will install this library we just have to wait alright now you can see we have installed that library so after that we have to let me add here the title on number validation example let's make this capitalize alright so now let's uh, give it a class heading and let's go here now let's import the library you can see we are importing that now we also need the CSS from this library so let's import the library and style.css Now let me copy the phone input and replace that here we also have to add some attributes so let me remove this and here I'm gonna type country so the default country will be US or anything you can put here and let's add some props and inside props we will be passing required and that will be true so save it and now you can see we have the drop down with all countries flag all right so we got the error let's fix this and let me fix this function we need to pass the value and let me copy and paste here and here and let's remove this save it and now i think we are good to go now if I remove everything you can see we got the error so let me change the message it will be please enter a valid phone number all right now let's add the styling for this component so I'm gonna create phone number validation dot CSS let's create this file real quick now let's add the css so container will be display flex and direction will be column text and center and justify justify content center the height will be 50 vertical height and the font family area let's give it a color f5 yeah white will be good so let's check this so the css has been not applied because we didn't add the class name so let's add that 
I'm going to add the class name here. Let's add the title here H2. Phone number validation. And let's add another div. And let's give it a class. one input container so in this div we will be displaying our input field let me paste here now we have to fix the error message so let's do that i'm gonna create is valid and inside that object we need to display that message and we will also give it a class error message Let's add the message here. All right, let me check this to why it is showing like this. Oh, so we didn't remove that tape from there. Let's give it a class here, level. All right, so we are done. Now you can see we are showing that in a container. Now let's add the remaining CSS so let's add the heading inside that text align center now let's add the phone input container and let me copy the up code and paste here let's remove this one and add the width 300 pixel and padding will be uh, 20 pixel and background color white let's give it a radius 8 pixel and let's give it a shadow so let's check and you can see we have a beautiful card here now let's add the margin to the label and make the error message so the color will be red give some margin and let's make the size 14 pixel let's see this and everything is aligned perfectly so now if i remove everything from here you can see we got the error message and if i type a number here it is automatically changing the flag let me add a number here and when the number is right the message get hide so we are done for this tutorial if you like this video please make sure to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon and don't forget to share with your friends see you in the next video